What's going on, world? It's the NRW or Nerds Rule the World back with another K Faby Baby NRW Ring Generals podcast. It's your boy Kuya P, and I'm joined by, um, you know, we usually have our trios champions, but you know, when it's just me and Wes, it's, out, it's the FTR, uh, the the revival. Uh, to keep it going on uh how are you webster style man what's going I'm good on? man how about you how about you uh i'm exhausted as you I know bet. i'm, I'm trying to days. level up bring the energy because they don't want to hear a tired cat when they tune into this they want to feel energy they want to get vibing they want to talk about wrestling they want to hear about wrestling so trying to go from Dwayne johnson to rock but sometimes manages <laughs> it's hard but we're gonna do it man uh, we had some great wrestling this past weekend, as you know. A lot Man. of wrestling happened. Oh my god! Went down. Uh, the two weekend, of us, boy. along with uh, Sean and his lovely wife, we went to uh, AEW Capital Collision, not AEW NJPW NJ, yeah. New Japan uh, Capital Collision. Our first uh, NJPW event, and had a good time. Right. Had a good time. Good time. Yeah. You know? We finally got a uh, Mercedes Monet that we've been yes, waiting we for did. all year he, he, in uh, regards to like an he, alive he, event. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Because uh, we were really hoping with AEW, but uh, we got her and uh, it had some good times, man. Yeah. And, uh, some some surprises, some some cats that I'm like, okay, I'm checking you for, you know, Definitely. down the line uh, outside of NJPW, you know, where if you go somewhere else. Uh, but you know that new Japan product is cool. The atmosphere is cool. Really love, you know, the Japanese announcer that really got me into like okay i love that because yeah. there's just oh, something yeah, yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. spirit about those new japan announcers man right uh so good times there but we also had bash in berlin we had uh uh nxt no mercy we had the N nwa 75 that you went to yeah uh yep. tnt uh emergence i think it was as well yeah tnt uh, TNA. emergence TNA. was on friday yeah, yeah it was man, just... so much going on this weekend oh my gosh Damn let me tell you though man facts. nwa Man, I had a blast. It was love to hear it. L let me tell you the tickets. You you saw my photos, right? Yeah, I was in row four. Mm -hmm. Twenty nine hours. Nice sold out show. Nice four plus hours of wrestling. Free meet and greet. <laughs> like nope. it was, it was such a dope, cool experience. Shout out to uh, William Patrick Corgan, Corgan NWA, and what they did there, and ended up chopping it up with a. Uh, uh, Thom Latimer beforehand, and he won the championship off of EC3 that night. So kudos, shouts to him. So it was just man, it was so great. It was such a cool experience, and I, I really that's my second time at the um, ECW. Well, it was former ECW Arena, but the uh, uh, 2300 Arena. I really like that venue for wrestling. It's just such a like. There's not a bad seat <laughs> in the house. Well, if I run it back with you, man, if we if you head back out there again, you know I'm, we're trying to do more wrestling events. Together. Oh yeah, definitely, so, definitely, yeah. That's uh, you gonna know the spots, tonight. and we'll hit them up. And man, I'm ready, man. Yeah. So, so just a good time of wrestling, right? Right. Exactly. Awesome, awesome. Well, so happy to hear you had a good time, man. And I definitely had fun with you at Capital Collision. It was great. You know, Sean Mikey. Hopefully, again, we can all get together, enjoy some wrestling. Uh, but let's talk about these results. Uh, we'll specifically cover uh, Bash in Berlin uh, and NXT No Mercy. And then we'll close it out, y'all. Uh, as you see from the background, mm. it's AEW all out this weekend. Like, back to back to back in wrestling this past week. Because, you know, right before this past week, we had all in. Now we're about to right. go all out. Uh, and we got a lot to talk about. So, uh, let's talk these results, uh, real quick. I'm gonna go through the card and then, uh, uh, Webster Solo and I will talk about, you know, any, uh, you know, things we really enjoyed and some things that kind of just kind of fell flat. Uh, so let's talk bash in Berlin. We had Cody Rhodes, our current champion defeating KO. We had Bianca and Jade defeating the unholy union to, uh, become two time yeah, WWE we knew, women's we called that. tag team champions. Uh, CM Punk defeating Drew McIntyre in the strap match. The Terror Twins defeating Judgment Day. And Gunther uh, defeating Randy Orton clean uh, for the World Heavyweight Championship. Picked out of the RKO. Yeah. So uh, what, what were your uh, favorite moments of uh, the bash and least favorite? I and think... any surprises that kind of surprised you? 
no real surprises. Um, and and I haven't gone back to rewatch it. I was I was driving at the time up to Philly yeah, for that's right. 76. <laughs> so I saw bits and pieces because one, I was driving. <laughs> and so I was like, I'm not gonna really just sit here and watch, but I saw some of Punk and the strap match. I like that. I I I like again, it's all about the storytelling there. Um, I like the storytelling, I like what I saw. Uh, I saw some of the Terra Twins in Judgment Day. I saw that kind of after the fact. And I saw some of the um, RKO Gunther match. I think all in all, from what I saw, you know, it was pretty decently put together pay-per-view. No real surprises, um, in my opinion, at all. I think we predicted pretty much everybody was going to win. Uh, so, yeah, but, you know, it was a good show. The crowd, the European crowd, they're like, they went crazy and bananas. All in all, you know, a pretty good show. It was a, I hate to say it was a standard European show, but I say that to say a lot of fan servers don't expect too many changes. Um, much like uh, with uh, with the Clash at the Castle, if I remember correctly, weren't too many changes there either. But it was, it's full of the fans. It's a big pay-per-view, excuse me, P-L-E, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, um, <laughs> you know, good show from what yeah. I understand. Uh, I don't know if it was you or Sean, but uh, we were, there was a prediction possibly of a KO turn. Uh, but KO and KO apparently, I I saw bits and pieces like you did. Uh, I mm -hmm. didn't get around, get around to watching it uh, as I had hoped uh, mm -hmm. fully. Uh, so I'm definitely going to put some time over the weekend of like watch all the matches. Um, but uh, from what you know, I've heard and saw in bits and pieces that there was opportunities that, you know, they played around with the crowd a little bit thinking KO was going to turn just like they did right at a, mm -hmm. I forgot what, if it was raw or SmackDown where he possibly could have did a turn, right. uh, but he didn't. So I, I like that they're playing a uh, KO noble, you know, if, if you will, and, right. and being a exactly. good guy with uh, uh, Cody. Uh, I agree. Yeah. And then obviously, you know, happy to see Bianca and Jade uh, back as champions, <laughs> you know, come on now, come on now. Uh, I actually uh, ordered a, a autographed picture from the WWE shop of the big three. It had uh, uh, that picture from WrestleMania. Remember when they came in mm -hmm. uh, the big three uh, with Naomi and it's signed by all three. So uh, nice. that's going up on the wrestling wall, man. Uh, so excited to get that. But yeah, our girls are champs again. And uh, yeah, and they're, they're, I like that chair twins, uh, uh, Ripley, Rhea, Put a Dom in a le in that kind of leg hold. I don't know if you saw that mm, uh, up against the that, turnbuckle. Yeah. Uh, pretty good. And uh, Gunther defeating RKO clean. You know, yeah, uh, well, that makes sense though. You know, Randy ain't got much time left. Gunther, yeah, they need to put it. It's the duty of the older guys to put over the newer guys because they want to make sure that their business keeps going. Exactly. Love it. Love love the, what this industry is all about. So, speaking about new guys, let's head over to NXT. No Mercy, Webster Style. Uh, I'm going to go through the card, and then we'll just talk, you know, again, highlights of uh, our thoughts. Uh, we had Axiom and Nathan Frazier defeating Chase U, yeah. getting their championships uh, back. Uh, so, I know I'm, I already can feel you have some feelings on that. Uh, so, very quickly, uh, getting their titles back. Zachary Wentz defeating Wes Lee. We didn't we didn't see that coming. I, and I told well, I told you one of these impact guys is gonna get yeah. a win. Uh and it was either gonna be this one or the other one. Uh so yeah, Zach uh Zachary Wentz defeating Wes Lee, you know, formerly the Rascals uh teams uh team up there. Um we have Kalani Jordan, our uh champion, retaining the title, defeating Wendy Chu uh for her NXT North um, women's North American championship. Oba, De Oba Femi, ah, can't talk today. Our current champion retaining the belt, uh, defeating Tony D'Angelo, which we thought might have been a change there. So yeah. kind of surprising a, a little bit there. Uh, Roxanne Perez, current champion, defeating Jada Parker by pinfall. And a surprise of Julia finally yeah. arriving at NXT. And then uh, last but not least, Ethan Page. Uh, he didn't say his name because he's calling his name. Uh, because right. he's got that ego, uh, defeating Joe Hendry by pinfall with Trick as the guest referee. Uh, tell me some of your highlights, bro, and some of your lowlights. Um, again, another you know, solid NXT pay per view. I I was glad they didn't do you know 
I think last time we talked possibly that, you know, trick heel turn because he's a guest referee. I'm glad it didn't happen. They did an excellent job progressing the storylines, more importantly, especially the, the title match, uh, Ethan and Joe, but more importantly, Pete, Dunn, and um, Trick. So, I mean, I'm liking it and still keeping Trick in that title picture because that kind of culminated on it. The biggest surprise is that um, Zachary Wentz, one, but him, I think it makes sense since he just won the X Division title. I do not think that they would have that newly minted X Division champion lose, even if it was not title defense. That does not make their company and their belt look look like anything. Makes yeah, I remember you being like, because I think we it happened on that Friday night. Yeah, we're at Capital Collision, and you're like, yeah. whoa. Right. I was going to turn out for s Sunday. And yeah. Yep. Because I think we were talking and we thought maybe they would actually turn into a stipulation of it being an X Division match. That didn't happen. But of course, we are getting the knockout championship in an open challenge being cha being uh, defended on NXT this week, which is really strange. But OK. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Axiom beating Chase U. I was that's probably my, my most shocking. Um turn of events for the night i didn't see that coming i i really thought that they would give chase you a, a decent run with the title not so quickly but the one thing i did hear somebody say as a rationale axiom and frazier would be a better match for motor city machine guns because apparently they have signed and are waiting to debut mm. so that that would be interesting but all in all again a good a good pay-per-view from nxt I'm gonna say pay per view. Damn it! <laughs> All right, yeah, um, yeah. It's kind of wild that the you know Axiom and Nathan quickly got their belts back. Uh, it just I'm curious what they're trying to do with Chase U because there's a lot of push with them, and it's well, just like it's like a back and forth. But I'm good with back and forth, though. You know. Yeah. Well, they they had the Rich Holland uh, heel turn this week, so that's kind of what they're doing with Chase U. Oh, I missed the NXT yeah. post post no no mercy. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, so that's what's going to happen with that. But, yeah, I, I still, you know, you have that, that going on. But, yeah, the whole tag team scene is just, again, we talked about it last week. There are no real tag teams on NXT proper. Any tag teams, we see them on level up. So they, they got to do something with that, really. And okay. that's, a, that's a WWE thing in general. Like, the, the tag team scene is just not as good as it, was or could have been it had had that glimmer at one point in time so gotcha yeah, it is what it is in that regard okay um kind of like we called it with a wesley zachary wentz thing uh so that's only going to get prolonged a little bit more there's obviously yeah. a lot more juice in oh, that bottle go even ahead even more so the rascals are now the nxt number one contenders for tag team championship yeah so yeah that's that's going to be interesting um you know just talk about tag team you got the rascals in the mix for the number one contendership, how is Wesley going to play into that match? There's going to be some shenanigans. Yes, there are. <laughs> Definitely going to be some shenanigans. Uh, Kalani Jordan, Wendy Chu, that kind of quickly got put together. I don't know. That was kind of me a little bit throwaway. Wendy Chu just got back. You, you had her go yeah. a little bit just to make this match happen. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it'd be a good look, but they are prolonging that. Um, they brought Rosemary in last week as an ally yeah. of Wendy Chu, which, you know, I love me some Rosemary. And they brought her back this week, too. So they're prolonging that. But there is a uh, now it's more with Paxi Tatum and Lyra Valkyra has been brought back into the mix of NXT to help out her former friend. Uh, so they're still doing stuff there. But I, I again, I'm like, I'm not overly shocked that Wendy didn't win, but it, it would have made sense. I wouldn't have been upset with that um, with her winning and establishing the title in that way. But, you know. They decided to do what they wanted to do. Still good. I don't think it's a bad call. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, for me, uh, again, uh, Oba would have liked to see that change change up a little bit because we want to see o uh, uh, Oba go for the 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 main title, uh, if you will. Uh, they need to start developing him before they push him up because he's going to get on that rocket ship soon uh, to mm -hmm. be brought up to WWE. Uh, Roxanne, Jada. It's gonna be Miss Parker's time later, Look, sooner or later. We knew we knew uh, what that was gonna happen. But like the Ju like that happened, and Julia finally coming. But I, I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know if you want to blast Julia yet in a way, nah, too. Nah, especially nah, with Stephanie all. coming in. 
uh, there was a meme that was gone out about how, like, you know, they got Julia now, they got Stephanie Vakir now, they got uh, like two other ladies that I I'm, that are their names I'm forgetting right now. Was somebody uh, named Delta, I think. You know, they're the basically from, building the yeah. Avengers of women's wrestling right now, yeah. uh, which is dope. And it just to me just brings out that there needs to be maybe just an all women's separate kind of thing. Uh, or or like a we need show. another women's pay per view. That's what we need. Definitely, definitely that. Definitely that. But just would love just these women to get their shine because there's yeah. not enough shine on these women and they need more play. Um, and then Ethan ha uh, Page and Joe Hendry uh, would have loved to see it and hopefully sooner or later. Uh, but you know, makes sense. It makes sense. But yeah. I knew one of these Impact Cats or excuse me TNA. I'm going back and forth on that shit. Um, we're gonna get something, and, and they they did with uh, Zachary Wentz. But there you go. Uh, that's the weekend again. Uh, a lot of goodness with uh, uh, NJPW Capital Collision, uh, as well as a TNA uh, uh, Emergence, as well as NWA seventy six. That uh, y'all take a look at uh, Webster Styles, Star Toiling Geek. He's gonna you're gonna have a full rundown with the what you saw at TNA, right? Oh yeah, that's up on Monday the ninth. All right. So look for that, and obviously we'll bring that convos conversation uh, back over here to K Fabi Baby as well. But we got some picks, y'all, uh, to give you for AEW All Out 2024 uh, this Saturday, as you see, September 7th, live on pay per view. Um, ready to go through these picks, bro? Yes, sir. All right, let's click it down with Will Osprey, current champion versus Pac. Uh, for the AEW International Championship, uh, they're not gonna get it, take it off of Osprey. I'm with Osprey. No, on that he one. just How went it back. You? Yeah, Osprey. Yeah, all day, every day. Uh, shout out to Osprey and the the the, the Gremlin and Pog, but nah, bro, it's, it's not your time, man. It's Osprey now. Um, we got the AEW World Tag Team Championship: the Young Bucks, Matthew and Nicholas Jackson versus Blackpool Combat Club, Claudio Castagnoli and Willer Yuta. Uh, and obviously, young, the Young Bucks are current champions. I'm bored. <laughs> they, these, it's, you know, they're, they're they're always pushing these guys. It needs to be more. I, I'm calling Blackpool Combat Club just be, to get it off of the Young Bucks. Wait a minute, aren't Claudio Wheeler and um, Pac the trio champions now? Uh, I think so. I think so. But this is the yeah. This is right now. The this is why. Right. Yeah. Why, why so many belts on one team? No, yeah, well, like, belts. why are they involved in? Oh my, God. you know, again, we talk about the tag. Team. Okay, anyway, um, Blackpool, yeah, I'm leaving with that <laughs> because I'm so tired of the Young Bucks. Yeah, I think we're all tired of the Young Bucks. If y'all a lot still like the Bucks, please let us know why in the comments below. Yeah, because yeah, they need to just really go away for a while. Yeah, just just need a break. Need a break. Uh, let's head over to some women's wrestling. Finally, uh, we got Willow Nightingale. But running it back again with uh, against Chris Statlander with this Stokely Hathaway obviously in the corner. But this time it's a Chicago street fight. Get the tables, get a chair. But this is tough. are we done with this? I think this is it. But so that's what makes it hard for me to, to pick. Look, you know what? I'm going for my favorite. I'm going for Willow. I'm going doubt, go for Willow. Willow's a nice person. Love her. Very pleasure to talk to. Go Willow. All right. <laughs> we got the AEW Continental Championship. It's a four-way match. But uh, we don't know who the the opponents are. We just know Okada, the current champion, will be facing whoever these three people are. Uh, so who do you if do you want to pick a mystery winner or are you gonna think the champion's gonna retain? I'm, I was style? going for Okada. Look, Okada and what did he's he's great television right now. It'd be stupid to take it off of him. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> I, I'm with you. you know, Monet won't like that. Um, let's head over to a singles match. MJF, Daniel Garcia. He, we, we, this match has been planned from MJF for a long time. He said this match was going to happen. It's finally happening. Who you got, man? I'm going with Daniel Garcia. They, they need to give him a big win if they're looking to position him as like a top person, one of the top guys in the company. Um, and also, I think that storyline was for MJF to have two consecutive losses like this. I would love to see what the what happens to the character based on this. I agree completely. Yeah, and it just I they keep shitting on Daniel Garcia. 
Yeah. You know, exactly. like, they, oh, we're going to sh- put them on a rocket ship. Then they shoot that rocket ship back down. Like, come on, stop playing with that, brother. MJF, I don't think it would hurt him. And we get to see more of him play around with the character. MJF right. MJ, um, is a um, freaking MJF. He's right. solid. But Daniel Garcia, you're fucking up with that man's career if you keep right. going up and down with that cat. So right. I'm with you on that one, man. Uh, women's wrestling, here we go. Uh, we have our AEW TBS championship, Miss Mercedes Monet versus Hikaru Shida with Camille being barred from ringside. She can't yes. interfere. So will Monet retain uh, one of her two titles in this one? She will. Uh, real quick, we kind of thought maybe, well, I kind of thought maybe, oh, NJPW that she defended a capital collision uh, against Momo, you know, she's, she's not really wrestling in this over there with that title too much. Right. She's been over here. So kind of thought she was going to lose it, but she retained. So will she keep this one? Or, or, and uh you know and, and still be two belts I, I think she's retaining um i don't think they they are going to take that belt off of her until they have a plan to insert her in the title picture and right now that's not happening does it make sense right now no nah, no nah. so the, uh, the money ain't right right now <laughs> nah. or, or shall we say the money ain't right okay uh two more matches webster style we got the aew world championship match Ryan Danielson, our current champion, versus Jack Perry. Let me tell you this right now. <laughs> if they put the title on Jack Perry, as not said, I watch AEW now. And mind you, is I don't watch AEW because I don't like AEW. I don't watch AEW because I cut the course and I don't have TBS, the TNT, and whatnot. So don't take it. You know, it's like, oh, he's AEW. No. But if Jack Perry wins, I am definitely taking a hiatus from all AEW content for a while because that's going to piss me off. If Jack Perry um, retains, if Young if, Bucks retain. If, no, if Jack Perry wins. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah excuse me. If he yeah, wins and yeah, Young Bucks retain. Wins, like, yeah. come on. Young man. Bucks, I mean, I, yeah, I want I know. To it's not as but But to, to me, that's kind of like, oh, it's the same. I think that yeah. for you to have this pomp and circumstance and big deal about – Brian Danielson winning and then for him to lose to Jack Perry, it just kills all of that in my opinion. Yeah, not a good look. All of it. It kills all of it. Not a good look. All right. Uh, main event, or at least to me, uh, looking at this card. So I'm calling it the main event, the last match uh, of, of this list. The unsanctioned lights out steel cage match. Swerve with Prince Nana versus Hangman Adam Page. And as we started off earlier before we got recording, Webster style, you're invested because what oh went down this past week oh, I, leading up I, into this match, man. Go ahead and talk about I, it. I did not expect it. So was it yesterday morning? Um, I just on the YouTubes they had this great feel good story, AEW, about Swerve buying his childhood home. He gave the story about being an army brat and then how his family eventually lost the home and how he, with the help of Prince Nana, was able to buy back his family home. So later that night after Dynamite, I see on, on Instagram, I see the segment with Hangman Page. Hangman burned down the childhood family home. I was like, <laughs> that is that is probably up there with like the top five most heelish evil things I've seen in a storyline ever. I was yeah. like, yo, I was like, cold blooded, oh, cold blooded. I'm, I'm invested in this match. I am. I am so invested. This is going to be bloody. This is going to be brutal. Like, you know, we talk about storytelling, that's storytelling, that's motivation. That that's whoa. I am I am it's hours after I seen it just playing it back in my head. I'm like, that is some evil shit. <laughs> Straight evil. So with Look, that being said though, but for story wise, do you do you do you let the swerve just get savage and near, oh, that's gonna happen. Look, near that death? was gonna happen anyway, even before this. True. I don't I what, what do you think is best for storyline? I have no idea because this is Hangman's actually interesting because of this. Swerve just losing his title is pissed already. And now you do this. 
I don't know how to call this. Storyline wise, I could go either way. I I am literally up in the air because I don't even know who I want to win. Like, no, that's a lie. I want Swerve to win. But I this match is such an enigma for me. Because this could so go so many different directions. All I know is it's going to be brutal and it's probably going to steal the show. Definitely. Definitely. It's going to be a slobber knocker as uh, I forgot who used to say that. Uh, uh, Jim Ross. Jim Ross. That's There it is. That was right at the tip of my tongue. It's going to be a slobber knocker. That's the one match I really uh, want to see. And I, as you all know, I love women's wrestling. And uh, I think the Sheeta and Monet match might be pretty sick. Yeah. But uh man, that's gonna be a motherfucking slobber knocker. And uh I want swerve. I want swerve, but I could go either way. And I and I think I would still be happy because they're still gonna pull more juice out that bottle. Oh, yeah, definitely. This is only the beginning, it's gonna get even bloodier, nastier. Cause swerve swerve gotta get more than just a win off of that bullshit. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be very interesting. Uh any surprises, any uh things you uh want to predict or call out? Uh, with all these, you know, surprises that uh, both WWE is doing, AEW is doing. Um, there's uh, stuff on the internet about JBL, you know, going over to different. Uh, oh yeah, he yeah, John, uh, yeah you know, promotions the, doing stuff. TNA. There's there's yeah, some rumors that are going online of you know what could be going on, uh, and anything you want to call. We know we're shifting over to uh, SmackDown on USA, I believe. You know, all of yeah, these shifts. Week, yeah. There's gonna be some movement happening in the wrestling industry. Uh, very soon and uh just just anything uh you want to call before we get up out I'm here. I'm wondering if we will get that more of that storyline they're doing with Moxley and Marina Shafir because Oh and yeah and that was interesting of how yeah. he was uh talking about this is some bullshit you know basically like uh yeah, this is, this in is regards to AEW anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And what is so, that all about? You know, the prevailing theory is that they're bringing in Shane McMahon. I don't I don't know if I necessarily believe that. But it'd be very interesting if that the theory was right, and he showed up at all out, or all in. Excuse me, nuts, dude. Yeah, and we all know, and but it'd be truly Shane McMahon for for those that are in fear of Vince McMahon return. We know how toxic he is. Shane McMahon don't like his dad like that. If people are paying attention, that is his biological father blood, but. You know, uh, have you been tracking on the dirt sheets on that? They aren't in the best of terms. Yeah, I, I've i heard that. No, do I track it that much? No, but I've heard that for a couple of years now. So, yeah. So I don't mind Shane McMahon coming through. Personally, that's what, that's what I'm essentially what I'm saying. Because, you know, we all fear kind of like the Vince McMahon. Well, at least I do. Like, I don't want Vince McMahon touching no product anymore. I don't want his hands in the product. No. But Shane, I'm, I'm cool with Shane. Shane got a dope shoe collection. Shout out to Shane. Right. But uh, yeah, so it's, it's going to be interesting what happens, man, with uh, wrestling. Um, so outside of that, man, uh, we'll have our uh, KFAB Baby results show, you know, as always next week. We'll talk about what went down uh, and more things wrestling. Hopefully we'll be more jazzed up with energy because I'm like really trying to push myself right now. As is Web Style, we're recording a lot later than we normally do. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's get up out of here, Web Style. We both are tired. Uh, anything you want to throw at the people, what they can look out for, Sartorian Geek, and what you got going on? Um, over on Web Style, um, stuff from <laughs> AtlanticCon is still coming out. Uh, my vlog from NJPW should be out by the time this comes out. Um, next week, by the time pretty much before we tape the next week's episode of, of KPAB Baby, my vlog to NWA 76 will be out. Uh, pretty much something every day, every other day is out. <laughs> That's the best way of putting it. <laughs> He's putting in that work, y'all, for y'all. Man, just delivering that content. I got like a rack of stuff that I got to edit. But I got to get some sleep in between now and then, so, as is Webster style. I got, so, look, I got two interviews I got to edit right now. <laughs> crazy. Right. All right, y'all. That's uh, Webster Style. Again, show him love. His links are in the description below. Uh, my links as well. Sean Mongo there. Shout out to him. We'll see him hopefully next time we come through. We're all just crazy busy with all of our schedules, but we're going to try and make it happen. Uh, but we'll definitely be talking the results of All Out 2024 uh, next week. Let's talk all things about it in the comments below. Tell us why Young Bucks shouldn't win as well as Jack Perry because we're just tired uh, of that and we need some new blood going on. And whether yes, it's sir. that's uh, Shane McMahon, uh, I'm down for that. Anyway, we out.
Webster style, your boy Creepy, and out of here in a one, two, two three. three. You come in my face, I'm gonna fight you. Well, you're not gonna bust a nut anytime we're in the ring. I'm gonna get off by cranking your knob just a little beyond the breaking point. When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna eat your ass like a pot of collard greens, baby. I'm gonna stretch his ass like it's never been stretched before. You can hide behind that commissioner, sir, just so long until I jerk a knot in your ass. And if you don't think I'm big enough, bro. And you grab a hold of me, and you'll know that I'm growing, my man. Within your hands, I will get as big as I need to be, as big as I need to be to do the job on you. The Rock just jerked Helmsley off. There's one part of our bodies that's soft, and it ain't soft all the time if you catch my men. I'm going to come on you like nobody's ever come on you before. Just you and I getting it on like two men should do. Oh, no. Oh, that, that, that fits right. Boy, boy. I'm coming hard.